Hi, I'm teacher Aparna. I will give you some extra knowledge related to the topics. There is a well-coated proverb, give knaves an inch and they will take a yard. A person who is dishonest is called a knave. Their life won't be based on any principle or conviction. Moreover, he will be too selfish to absorb and use things for his own personal intentions. Such persons are always on the lookout for quick and dishonest means of gaining things in life. They don't care whether their deeds are fair or not. Instead, they are concerned only with what they can gain. Such persons have no feelings or sympathy for others. If somebody tries to help them a little, they will try to make the most of it. It is always better to keep away from such people because they will always be thinking of cheating you and gaining some advantage. Those who entertain such knaves will have to be sorry for that in the immediate future. Now, discuss with your friends if you have had any similar experience. New words Chatterer One who talks a lot. Raju is a great chatterer. Defect a fault. The aircraft has been grounded after a defect in the engine was discovered. Exhausted, tired and fed up. The day's heavy work left Meena exhausted. Desert. A sweet dish served after the main meal. Ansi made a delicious dessert using fruits and cheesecake. Examine. To look at something very carefully. The doctor examined the heart patient thoroughly. The Talkative Barber Long, long ago, a sultan whose name was Shariar ruled over a large kingdom. His queen was a good storyteller. Each night she would tell a story to the king. She narrated ancient Persian and Arabic folk stories. This is one of the stories from the Arabian Nights. It is about a man who cannot stop talking. The Talkative Barber In the city of Kashgar lived a barber who was a great talker. Once the Sultan called the barber to shave his head. The barber started talking non-stop instead of shaving him. The Sultan got angry. When are you going to stop talking and begin to do your work? The barber replied, You do me an injury by calling me a chatterer, for everyone says I am very quiet. I have six brothers whom you might call chatterers. Their names are Bagbon, Bagbarya, Bagbak, Alkuz, Alnashi and Shakabak. One is humpbacked, one is toothless, one is half blind, one is quite blind, one is deaf and the other has a defect in his speech. And they are all great talkers. But I am the youngest of my family. Give him three pieces of gold, the Sultan cried, losing all patience, and send him away. I will not be shaved today. My master, cried the barber, it was not I who came to seek you. It was you who ordered me to come. So I will not quit your house till I have shaved you. He then began narrating another story, which lasted half an hour. Stop making your fine speeches and let me go quickly. I have an affair of the greatest importance. I have to go out at noon, said the Sultan. When he saw that the Sultan was really angry with him, the barber said, O oh master, do not be angry. I will begin to shave you. Saying this, he washed the Sultan's head and began to shave. But he had not touched him even four times with the razor when he stopped and said, My master, you are acting hastily in this matter. Go on shaving me, speak no more, ordered the Sultan. Be patient, said the barber. 
Perhaps you've not considered well what you're going to do. I wish you would tell me what this matter of great importance is all about, and then I will give you my opinion on it. Finish shaving at once, the Sultan exclaimed. But instead of doing this, the barber left the Sultan half shaved to go and see what time it was. My patience is exhausted, the Sultan cried. Be calm, my master, and you shall be shaved in a moment, said the barber, and saying this, he continued shaving the Sultan. But while he was doing this, he could not help talking. If you could inform me what this important affair is, I would give more advice which you might find useful, he said. The Sultan was completely Summary The story is about a barber who was a great chatterer. Once the Sultan called the barber to shave his head. The barber started talking instead of shaving him. He began to describe his family. The Sultan became impatient, but still the barber did not begin his work. He continued talking. The Sultan was angry again. Then the barber washed the Sultan's head and began to shave it. But he stopped shaving soon and began to chatter. The Sultan with half-shaved head was fed up. He was ready to give anything to be rid of the barber. He gave him all his food for his friends, including fruits. Finally, the barber started shaving the Sultan's head again. But after a few minutes, he stopped again and cried, I never